All right, guys, here we go with round number three. We got Globe Trotter W5. I'm not sure what W5 means, but we'll find out. So, this one we're starting off with Coyote Canyon. This hole, usually pretty easy, but it's come back to bite me a little bit lately. So, we're going to go with my regular line, slide to the left. We're going to go a little lower, slide top chevron down on the little nub there. And from here, we're going to go down about a disc of Anheuser to combat this, this wind. Oh no, not again. Okay, that should be well wide enough. I was worried I was going to start fading too soon and hit the cacti. That actually turned out really well. We're going to throw this, not going to putt it. Yes, Angel. Got the eagle. What's up, sweetie? I have a snack. Want a snack? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pause this for a sec, get a snack, and move on to hole number two. All right, on to the next hole. We got Ikigai Enzo. We are going to go with the glide, skip, arrive, backhand. Going to slide to the right or the left. I usually aim over here, but we're going to do a little different line this time. Middle chevron right under this tree here. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was, I should have stopped recording there. I was just checking my line that I recorded. So for this one, just to, just in case I miss, it still keeps it safe and I don't have to worry about the water, but middle chevron right under there. And we're going to go pretty much straight down pool from here. Uh oh, stay right at the tree. Oh, that, that's going to be good. Get up there. What's our distance? 86 feet, not too bad. Hopefully we can get this to go. We're going to go with the piste. Pretty much aim right at it with this wind. Should hold it. Nice. So good start for the first couple holes. See if we can keep this going. Moving on to the next hole. This is a tough one. I'm really just hoping for a birdie here. We're going to slide to the left. We're going to go with the triple B. And I'm trying to remember what my aim, I think I came all the way down here. And hopefully we can just either get through the branches or miss the tree altogether. But we're going to go right there and we're going to do a little bit of Anheuser to make sure we miss that tree. Too much. Shoot. Get around. Skip up there. Get past that rock. Okay, that'll work. Not too shabby there. 325. I think we're gonna go with the roll sapphire on a forehand. Should be able to be plenty of distance. Make sure and put plenty of Anheuser. I don't wanna mess with those trees on the right. Maybe I should have thrown the PD there just to get a little extra roll but, or glide on the ground. 60 feet. Nice. So we're perfect through three holes. I'll take that, especially on Northern Breeze 7, any day, part three coming up. This one I decided to go with the forehand light glide. Make sure I click on that and not my glide skip ride since they got the same stamp on them. And then we're actually gonna slide to the right here. We're gonna put the top chevron into the basket. And then from here, it's just gonna be a straight pull down. And this actually gives us a, a look at Ace, but hopefully I just want a safe birdie. Oh no. Okay, that should be all right. Jeez, that started fading right away. No turn at all on that one. I don't know if I aimed a little too high or what. Spam, I don't want to answer that. Getting in the way of my game here. All right, we'll get the birdie there. So through four. We got a solid round going. I will take it on to hole number five. Now this one can be a challenging win, but I'm going to throw forehand. And we're going to slide to the right. We're going to put top chevron underneath the little thing for the basket there. 
and then we should just pull straight down from here hopefully avoid any trees and just get out there and have a nice look towards the basket with a tailwind which is what we got 432 all right I'm trying to decide what I want to throw here um, should have plenty of distance even with the sapphire I'm gonna go with the glide or the skip sapphire getting another call and we're gonna go middle chevron on the basket and then just do a bunch of Anheuser just to keep it off to the right hopefully we get a nice big skip otherwise oh, there we go a little too much turn but that's better than missing to the left there oh man that one scared me it was setting up to spit out on me but it didn't all right, next hole we got Lakeside 9. This one we're going to just go with the Instinct. Aim about right here. Make sure we put plenty of Anheuser on it. We're just The goal is just to get up into this log here, which we're able to do. From here, I think we're going to go with the Water Skip. Gold. Slide to the right. And then we're going to put gonna aim out, out about right here. And hopefully this one skip on, hopefully nice tap in. That's what I'd like to see. Oh yeah, a little, little long of a tap in, but that'll work. So through six holes, we got a solid round going. Three more to go, hole number seven. This one should be an easy eagle, but should, you never know. We're gonna go, we're gonna throw this kind of nice and high. We're gonna slide to the left. We're gonna put, just gonna put the bottom chevron just kind of into this tree here and then throw straight down and let it kind of start off that way and the wind should hold it. It's okay if it catches that rock. Oh, nice. I'll take that ground play. Got a nice easy putt for our eagle. Two more holes to go. Holes eight and nine. We got a par three and a par five. This one I put the roll vandal in the bag just because I like it a lot more. I don't have to worry about it going long. And it should get me up there kind of on that top level. We're just going to go middle chevron right on this wall here and then a straight down pull. Oh, it's turning way more than I... Oh no, Aaron. Shoot. That is not what I wanted, not what I practiced. All right, we're going to go with the piece because I did not practice this distance. This is what I'm used to. This is where the instinct should come in, 100 feet. Get up there. Dang it! Oh, what a stupid mistake, man. I don't know why that turned so much. That was one of those instances where I practiced and practiced and it never did that to me in practice. But hey, what can you do? Last hole, let's finish strong here. We gotta get this eagle. All right, this one I did a little different. I came up with, still gonna try to bounce it off the bank even though it's probably not the smartest, but we're gonna slide to the left. Oops, checking my line again. Slide to the left, we're gonna take Right in line with this bush and then bring that bottom chevron right where that rock meets the water. And we're going to pull straight down from here. And nice. Got a nice good skip off the bank. I'll take that. Now the second shot can be tricky. We're going to slide left and go glide skip arrive. I'm going to do a little flex shot around this. I'm going to put it maybe middle chevron on this tree. And then just kind of turn it around corner here and hopefully it skips up towards the basket and misses that ledge there no you little punk why I always end up right here all right we got it we can at least see the basket here I'm gonna go with the harp god why does this have to happen 55 feet uphill nice 
Oof. Take that. That dang par, man. I was so excited to have a solid, perfect round, and then I messed up on hole eight. But I'll take it. Still a great round for me. I was hoping to get that 15, but 14 is not bad for that layout. And on to the final round, Maple Hill.